here, this is the famous, uh, nowadays this is being translated, you know, Mu'arful Quran, you know. I'm, I'm not going to quote, I, Allah gives me knowledge, I don't need anybody. Alhamdulillah, Allah Azawajal says in Surah Al-Najm, the 53rd Surah in the Quran, the third ayat, He says, وَمَا يَنْتِقُوا عَنِ الْهَوَىٰ That the Prophet does not speak from his own hawa, his own desires. Here's what's amazing about this, and this is subhanAllah wa bihamd, Allahu Akbar, this is amazing. We know some people have said that my sh that their shaykh has said, I don't speak from my own self. Allah is inspiring me. Allah is Allah is telling me what to do. Now here's the issue with that. Who is telling us that the Prophet ﷺ does not speak from his own desires? Allah Azza wa Jal said he does not speak from his own desires. Prophet ﷺ is not saying this his own self. Allahu Akbar. Because to say that, to say it for your own self would be coming from your own self. Allahu Akbar. So an individual says that Allah Azza wa Jal is speaking for me and I don't speak for my own self. You're, you are speaking for your own self. Because Prophet ﷺ does not speak for his own desires because Allah said he doesn't speak for him. Allah told you that he's not speaking for his own self. So even the, so even if an individual says that Allah Azawajal is speaking through them or whatever, and they're, all, they're speaking for their own self, no, you actually are speaking for your own self because you said the statement for your own self. Prophet ﷺ did not say this statement. The statement is the kalam of Allah Azawajal in Surah Al-Najm, the 53rd Surah in the Quran, the third ayat. This deen is perfect. Allahu Akbar Kathir. Wallahi.